Today, members of the Detroit and Michigan Legislative Black Caucuses announced a package of bills they say declares equal justice for all. The proposed legislation is aimed at policing in Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig with the details on the changes lawmakers are working on. These state reps say this package of bills is about addressing racial inequities and injustices. Cries for justice, transparency, accountability, Transformational change are about a lot more than addressing the actions of a few bad apples. Today, members of the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus and Detroit Caucus talked to reporters about a package of bills they say is aimed at transforming policing in the state and addressing systemic racial inequities, beginning with an independent entity that would investigate and prosecute officers accused of using excessive force and also banning the use of facial recognition. It should be scrapped right now. Study after study has shown that this type of technology is more likely to misidentify black and brown people than their white counterparts. Part of the plan would also prohibit no-knock warrants, chokeholds, and any restraint on a person's neck. I've been to a police academy. I've taught at a police academy. I've been to the FBI National Academy. And some of the things that we're seeing now are not taught anywhere. They say there is also the need for increased transparency and oversight of law enforcement. So they want to see citizen review boards established in each community and have officers' disciplinary records available to the public. None of us are safe until all of us are safe. Our police system has been allowed to operate in the dark and behind closed doors for too long. And finally, their plan would also expand the definition of a hate crime to include people who make false 911 calls based on someone's race, color, nationality, or sexual orientation. I want to make this clear. This is not an us against the police. History has shown us with Dewan Grimes, Malice Green, and so many others that there are those bad apples that need to be addressed and weeded out of our system. And these Democratic lawmakers say they are seeking bipartisan support. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. The FBI